young people find themselves increasingly challenged by a sense of aimlessness, a struggle for purpose. The educational institutions aren't prepared to help them with this developmental challenge of thinking about what would give them a sense of purpose across a life. The kinds of assessments that are used in education, both K-12 and higher ed, are very narrow, that we focus on measuring things that are relatively easy to measure, cognitive accomplishments and skills, vocational development. It's much harder to try to figure out whether someone is developing toward leading a meaningful life. Education is about helping people develop as human beings, helping respond to their emotional needs, their spiritual needs, their moral development. People don't just think, they always feel and they reason about moral ends and they try to get a sense of where they fit into a larger order. And that larger sense of education is completely missed by the assessment instruments that we use. The first important goal for educators should be to recognize the interests and talents of individual students. And recognizing that means giving students a wide enough variety of options that they can find exactly where their spark lies. And then offering those subject matters in a way that addresses the big questions of life. When the students can connect what they're learning with their own motives in life and with their own sense of purpose, that's when they're motivated to learn and that's when they learn best. As far as we know, this is the first conference of this kind. We had people who are philosophers, we had developmental psychologists who study purpose and how it is that young people develop a sense of purpose over their lifetimes. We had measurement people who know something about how you build assessments and how it is that we can create reliable quantitative measures. The broadest ambition is to try to create assessments that will allow schools, districts, universities, policymakers to say, we really want to embrace a broader vision of what we want our young people to be. So they don't feel constrained to teach narrowly, to teach to the test, as we say, but they feel empowered to teach to these broader goals of helping to develop decent human beings. It's not an easy thing to do. It will take substantial time and resources in order to create such a thing. We're grateful to have the opportunity to pursue this. It's a noble project. It's an important project. It will be difficult to create this assessment, but it's definitely worth doing.